It's Samuel Gordon. Can you let me in? Just one moment, Mr. Gordon. Mr. Gordon, I have terrible news for you. The head doctor is dead. Robert? What are you talking about? An officer and a detective were here. It's awful. How did it happen? They said they found his body at the old lighthouse. James was sitting right next to the body. James? He was just sitting there, gazing. He didn't even try to escape, just kept crooning some melody. I never thought that he would be able to kill someone. Where is James now? Where did they take him? Where he belongs, back in his old cell. It's going to be his home for life. So, Robert is dead. But if James had killed him, why didn't he run away? I'd like to visit James. Can you let me into the main hall, to his cell? How do you know where his cell is? Hmm? Well, Robert was in charge of this sanatorium, you remember? He told me where I'd find James. Sorry, I did not realize that. All right then, I will let you in. But after what has happened, I cannot let you go in there alone. I will have to go with you. No problem. We can go then. You know the way as you are so well informed. I'll be right behind you. Oh, not this. Wait here. I must fetch a doctor. What happened? James, what he feared most has happened. He couldn't return to this place. At least he died quickly. I recognize that tag, Robert's keys. James wrote my name on the wall. Why did he do it? Someone has plastered over it. I'll try to get the plaster off. Damn, the blade cracked. Ralph, can you hear me? Yes, I, I can, Samuel. Uh, have you come to visit me? Or have you come to visit James? James? James is no longer here, Ralph. Why are you saying that? James is here with me. He's always here with, with me. I can hear his voice. He wouldn't leave me alone here. I need to ask you about something that concerns James. Yes. Me and Mr. Bubby will help you. Ralph, when did you last speak with James? Do you remember? Yes, Samuel. What did he say? Did he talk about why he escaped? M maybe. But he was so terrified and was saying such a lot. He was very confused by it all. Kept saying that he hadn't killed him. That's what he was saying. Robert? Y yes, him. What else did he say? He said he knew who killed him. That he knew. The name? Can you remember the name of the person he was talking about? No, no. I was confused. He also t told me he's saying 
goodbye and that we would not see each other again. He didn't want to be put in his room again. Ralph, please, try to remember who James was speaking about. I don't know. I really don't. He wouldn't speak then, and there was a long silence. I don't like such silence. All right, Ralph. I have to leave now. Okay, Samuel. Mr. Bobby says, okay. Ralph was the last one to speak to James, but I probably won't be able to get much more out of him. What are you doing here? Get out immediately! You have no business being in here! I set off for the old lighthouse on the sharp edge cliffs. The only possible place where I can find out something about Robert's death. So here's where they found Robert's body. It's too dark. I can't see anything in there. Another symbol. I should make a picture of this one too. Done. There's nothing more to be found out here. I'll go to the mall. Herman may know something new. Probably didn't hear the bell. I'll try again. He isn't answering. Strange. I thought he'd be at home. It's open. I'll have a look around. Herman be. He left the door open and the mall too. Strange indeed. have happened here. That expression in his eyes were awful. Who could have killed him? And why? He's clasping something in his hand. The fingers have stiffened and cannot be opened in their post-mortem spasm. The fifth symbol.
it's quite dark in here. There are a few plastic bags under the book. I'll take them. There is nothing in them. Is this what I think it is? An old microscope. should do the trick. That must be the hair of the murderer. I have to put it into something. The murderer has black hair. Hmm. James's hair was black as coal. I should go back to the sanatorium and obtain a sample for comparison. Someone's ringing the doorbell. I'd better leave quickly. Detective? Mr. Gordon, what are you doing here? I've come to see Dr. Herman, and... Uh, I know what it probably looks like, but I'll explain everything. What are you talking about, Gordon? I don't know how to say this. I found Herman downstairs. He's dead. What? I went downstairs and found his body on the table. That is a serious matter. Are you sure? I know what I have seen, Detective. His body is lying on the autopsy table. With the head off. With the head off? I must go there right away. Listen, Gordon, when you found him, were you alone? Was no one else with you? No one. Strange how coincidence tends to lead you to a corpse. He was already dead when I came around. I believe you. I know who is behind all of this. Really? Who? That lunatic who escaped from Ashbury a few days ago. Who else? Who else could possibly have committed such things? You remember that boy? And now, Herman. Disfigured. A normal person cannot have done that. That's certainly true, but he hung himself in his cell. I was in the sanatorium today. So, the murderer's punished himself. Mm. Oh well. It's justice, I say. But you haven't got any evidence. Gordon, there are several disfigured corpses and a madman was on the loose. You want more evidence? Hmm. No thanks. Good that you told me about him, Gordon. Now please leave. I've got to go downstairs and deal with this. Goodbye. Goodbye, Detective. Why would James want to kill Herman? He didn't even know him. I've got to get a hold of a sample of James's hair somehow and compare it with the chunk that Herman was clasping in his hand in his post-mortem spasm. Samuel Gordon, please, let me in. Just one second. Thank you. May I speak with you? Listen, I need to know something. Where is James's body? Excuse me? Don't ask. Just tell me where it is. Well, all right. If you must know, we cannot get hold of Dr. Herman. I don't know what is going on. 
So we placed the body in the old chapel in the graveyard until he arrives. It cannot stay much longer, though. It has to go to the morgue. That's all. Thanks. Mind your own business. I've got no time for you. The chapel is locked. I haven't got time. What do you want? Can you tell me, why is that chapel in the graveyard locked? The old chapel? I'll tell you why. It's locked because nobody has any business going in it. Can you open it for me? No, I couldn't. Nobody is allowed to go there, like I said. But you have the key to it, right? Exactly. And it's going to stay that way. I have to get into that chapel at all costs. How could I possibly obtain the key? How about you lend me your key? I'll return it in a little while. You could watch my wallet for me in the meantime. Mm. Well... A little extra added to that lousy salary of mine would come handy. So, what do you say? Hmm. No, it's not possible. I can't do it. The head nurse would really enjoy the chance to fry my backside. I can't risk somebody finding out. Too bad. I'll keep the wallet to myself then. I won't be keeping you any longer. Good. so I won't get caught. This time, I wouldn't have any explanation. I'm lucky there's no one here. I've got to take advantage of that before somebody comes. How do I obtain the keys to that chapel? I'll have a look around here. I've got to come up with something. 